dear learner listening skill is most important for speaking in this video we are going to learn life story of louis braille a man of vision if we see with our eyes we can see the whole world but what about the people who cannot see who are blind in both eyes in earlier times blind people could not get education because they could not see anything, they had to face a lot of difficulties, but Braille helped to remove the darkness in the life of blind people. Pranjal Patil is totally blind and has earned the distinction of being the first woman collector. Braille script was invented by Braille Lewis. Braille Lewis' birth anniversary on the 4th of January. His birthday is celebrated as World Braille Day. All over the world. Lewis Braille was a scientist, writer as well as teacher. Childhood of Lewis. Braille Lewis Braille was born on January 4, 1809 in the town of Coupere, near Paris, France. He met with an accident when he was three years old. His father's name was Simon René Braille. It was a ginger horse, saddle leather goods maker. Mother's name was Monique Baron Braille. Lewis. Braille had two sisters and was born on the back of two sisters. So Lewis was loved by everyone in the house. Lewis was playing in his father's workshop and trying to imitate his father, once when his father was talking to someone he picked up a saw in imitation of his father and by mistake it went into one of his eyes, at which point Lewis fell unconscious. The eye was relieved for some time but the infection spread from that eye to the other eye and as the infection progressed, Lewis Braille lost both eyes completely and became blind in both eyes. The education of Lewis Braille. Lewis was always encouraged by his parents. He was independent from childhood. By hearing, touching and smelling, Lewis could easily identify objects and do his own work. In 1816 AD, a uh, Teacher named Abbe Jacques Palloy came to the villages of Louis and under his guidance Louis Prell began his education. In the early days, Louis was introduced to objects by smell and touch, and was also taught music and the Bible. A year later, Louis Braille was admitted to a normal school in the village. Louis was brilliant at studies, learning only through touch, hearing and smell, and Others were amazed at the progress he made through hearing. Lewis studied at this school for two years and during this time he developed an interest in many subjects. Lewis was then admitted to a school for blind children, Institut Royales des Avignons, in Paris. Lewis was admitted to the school, which was the first school for blind children in the world. Lewis was admitted to this school, he was the youngest student in the school, he was the youngest student in the school. Geography, mathematics, French, history, Greek, music, Lewis easily learned many subjects in this school, he also won many prizes. Although Louis Brielle is blind in both eyes, he made progress by only listening to what his teachers taught him and constantly reflecting on it, and most importantly, he passed with first class. Research work of Lewis Braille. Invention of Braille script and its benefit to mankind Lewis Braille had a special interest in musical subjects and was regarded as an excellent player on the piano, organ and cello. He was aware that blind people have a very keen sense of touch and hearing is also their education. While he was in Paris, a French army officer, Captain Charis, came to train the soldiers in a writing system he had devised for a battlefield message vehicle based on the insurgent dots and lines. In his style of writing, the sound of words was recognized without spelling. Braille himself studied and examined the writing system and created his own script, developing Braille as a finger-reading method for the blind. It was later known as Braille. In the modern era, Braille has become a boon for blind people as programs such as music, mathematics, computers, etc. use this script based on different symbols. 
He is known as the father of Braille for his invention of Braille. Louis Braille died of tuberculosis on January 6, 1852 in Paris. After his death, his script was widely circulated. Some of the most prominent people in the world developed their writing style a lot. Hence, his revolutionary script is used in all languages of the world.